Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my live class or my live lesson. It is me Joe here from Eastern Canada. It is Sunday morning 9 a.m. I don't know what time it is where you are but hopefully it's a, <laughs> a better hour. Uh, most of my family is still sleeping because it's Sunday but I thought I would get up early and uh, try try to have a live lesson. Um, what I was going to go over today is I got some phrasal verbs that I want to teach, and of course there's vocabulary and some and maybe some fun after that. So we'll see who shows up and uh, then we'll go on from there okay uh, so just to tell you it's nine o'clock it's another sunny beautiful fall day today after I do this live lesson uh, I'll probably uh, get ready and go out for a hike we uh, oh there's Elise hello Elise good morning and uh, I usually like to go out for walks uh, if I get a chance uh, I love nature and uh, then I make some more videos out there you guys have seen some of my videos from that I do outside and I have a little microphone on me so I thought that would be different it's nice to see you again too Elise so how are things how's your day going so far are you having a good day I hope so My day has just uh, slowly, your day is going slowly, okay? My day has kind of just begun because it's still early in the morning here. Uh, my daughter just got up and she's having breakfast now in the kitchen. Oh, you got to sleep late. Yeah, what time? That's good. You usually sleep late on Sundays. And there's Rana. Hello, Rana. Nice to see you. All right, where are you from, Rana? I know that Elise is from Poland, if I remember correctly. You just had breakfast too, Elise. Yes. Yeah, and it uh, looks like some other people are showing up. Ye Jin is here. Hi, Ye Jin. All right, that's good. Maybe people could tell me uh, where you're from and what time it is, so I know basically what's going on so I know Elise is from all right Rana I live in Germany but I'm Turkish oh, okay you're in Germany and Polish yes hello Ashbach yes all right where are you from and Irene Irene is here from Italy great Oleg uh, Belarus and it's uh, all just after three there agent from Korea Hello, Yejin from Korea. I used to live in Korea. Yeah. I'm one of your Instagram followers. I'm from Iran. Atafe. I, re I recognize your name, Atafe. Yes. Iran. Uh, Papi. Hi, Joe. Honduras. Whoa, it's 6 a.m. Papi. Wow, you are dedicated. It's even earlier. <laughs> I was doing them in the morning. So people could watch, but you woke up early to do that. Congratulations. Ashwak is from Algeria. In Italy, it's 2.05. Okay. All right, great. We got a, a mixture of people. South Carolina, but I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Leave it to you. All right, Larry. <laughs> All right. It's too early for Larry. Nine o'clock. I guess I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an early riser. I woke up around five o'clock this morning uh, so many people from all over the world that's right Elise I love that's one of the things I love about this live stuff I can talk to people from so many different places uh, 435 okay at uh, mens mensur kurja hello where are you from and Simon is from Macedonia. I don't think it's the most stupid place. There's no stupid places in the world. 
Ashwak, uh, 105. Okay, great. Man, we got a lot of people. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't know if a lot of people were coming today or not. I'm really glad that you guys have shown up. So what I want to do is uh, first, I, I've got some phrasal verbs here. In yesterday's lesson, I talked about uh, reading is the best way to improve your English. Oh, 507. Yeah. All right. 205. Elise will always be here. I could count on you, Elise. That's great. Uh, so I thought I'd start off today with some with some phrasal verbs and tell you their meanings and maybe we can practice some sentences, okay, if you understand them, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to type in the chat uh, uh, my first one and it's run down run down and run down has two meanings okay one of the meanings is uh, to feel sick or tired okay that's one of the meanings and the other one is to chase okay so you could say oh I don't want to go to work today I'm feeling run down all right Maybe you're not specifically sick, but you don't have very much energy. You feel run down. Okay? And to chase, like the policeman ran down the criminal. So he was chasing, running after him, and he ran ran him down. Okay? All right? Does everybody understand that one? Does anyone have any questions about that one? All right? The word run down. Okay, I've got a few which just have to do with run. All right, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. <laughs> All right. All right. Continue. All right, Simon. Great. The next one is run over. All right. A run over, I think, has, has uh, three meanings. Three meanings. Uh, one of them means to hit <laughs> someone with to hit someone with your car, right? Okay, so if you're driving and you, ah, uh, right, the car goes over, you know, oh, you ran over them or you run over somebody's foot. Okay, that's one meaning. Uh, another meaning is to the car run over a rash. No, well, you would say the car ran. Yes, you got it, a rash. Yeah, the car ran over. Another thing is to practice. Um, actors, they run over their lines. They do their lines. Or you uh, you run over something, so you practice a situation. Let's run over it, run it, run over it one more time. That's one way. Oh, hi, Ronnie. I'm doing great. And then another meaning of run over means if you want to go visit someplace quickly. All right, Pappy almost ran over a cat last week. Yeah, you got to be careful. Cats, sometimes they're jumping out in front of you. Yeah. So run over also means to quickly visit, quickly visit someone. Uh, that's a fair. We have many phrasal verbs in English, and it's really difficult to memorize them all. Yes, that's a fair. You are, to you are absolutely correct. There's so many. And that's what I was talking about yesterday. There's so many verbs, there's so many prepositions, there's so many different words, so much vocabulary in English. You can't memorize it all. What you can do, though, to really help you learn English is read for fun. If you read books and you see the same words again and again, you learn them without having to study them. All right? Let's do, let's do one more. Um, uh, run with. I ran over my brother's. I ran over to my brother's house yesterday. I ran over to my brother's house yesterday. Okay, yeah. So just a quick visit. Just five minutes and then I had to leave. Like that. That'd be good. So run with. To run with something means to carry it. So, um, you guys know American football, 
Hi, Benaz. Hi. American football, you catch the ball and you run with the ball. You can also just go running with someone. Okay. But another meaning of run with is if you um, to uh, pick a project and do it. To pick a project. Hi, Kamal. To pick a project and do it. So uh, you have to choose some kind of project in your office to do and you just run with it, meaning start working on it really hard and do it as much as you can. Don't stop. Hello from Somalia. Hi there, Emir. Nice. Okay. So those are three things with run with. All right. Let me do three other uh, phrasal verbs with the word talk. Okay. Uh, the, ease, the first one is the easiest one. Hamdi, nice to see you, Hamdi. <laughs> All right, you came now, great. So here's talk to. Everybody knows that one. I want to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Oh, Beery's back. Hi, Beery. <laughs> All right, talk to, that's an easy one. Talk to someone. Another one, here's one you might not know. Are you going to run with YouTube live class? I am. I'm going to do a lot of them. I think the best way to learn phrasal is listening to example sentences while you're driving. It's a great way to use your drive. If you're driving a car and you can put on some English, that's a fantastic way. Don't, uh, hi, Kiko. <laughs> don't, uh, right, don't get in an accident or don't run over cats, uh, Pappy, but while you're listening, that uses your time two ways because sometimes driving... You're, you're, it's lost time. So if you can do two things, it's great. Talking to my coworker, it's nice to hear you, teacher. Yes. But here's another one. Talk. Do you know this one? Talk over. Talk over has two meanings. All right. One means you're going to discuss something, like talk about. Okay. All right, we're going to talk over the changes, talk about the changes, all right, if you're doing something. But also talk over means if there's two people talking and this person's talking, this person talks louder, they are talking over. People can't hear this person, right? So sometimes in meetings, things get loud and people argue, this guy might talk over this other person to maybe quiet them, make them shut up. So talk over, all right? I don't think people, people don't like it when you talk over them, all right? Okay, and one more. Talk up. Talk up, this means to, My teacher talked over me once. Yes, Arash, that's possible. So the next one, talk up, this means to say great things about. So if you're saying, hey, everybody, you should go see that new Tom Cruise movie. It's a fantastic movie. I am talking up the Tom Cruise movie. Talking up the Tom Cruise movie. Okay? All right? All right? My boss usually talks over me. Yes, that's possible. That's possible, Ben S. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm sorry that situation. <laughs> All right. How about we practice a little grammar now? In any way you want, write a sentence in the chat box that uses the word talk, and I'll check your grammar and tell you if you're right or wrong. So it could be one of these, talk to, talk over, talk up, talk about anything, but I will... I will check it. I talked over my kids when they do something wrong. <laughs> okay, do the same thing, wrong things every day. So you don't need the past tense though, Irene. So you said I talked over, but you do it every day. So I talk over my kids. Yes. Uh, so, uh, all right, Atafe, you don't need talked up about. So my grandmother talked up past memories. That means she said, oh, this is a great memory, right? 
So it's a little different than just she talked about past memories. So that's one thing. But talk up. So usually you talk up something kind of outside of you, a, a book or a person. Okay. Um, Beery, I was talking over the phone. Yes, that's great. I was talking over the phone when the lightning struck. So struck, uh, you don't need the ED because struck is the past tense. Simon, I talk with my favorite teacher about school projects. That's perfect. Yeah, I talk with. Yeah. Anyone else have a, a talk sentence? Oh, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to talk over about. So remember, don't say talk over about. Talk to about, right? You got to take out the about. I want to talk over my summer holidays. I want to talk over my summer holidays. Means I want to talk about my summer holidays. Okay, Hamdi? I was talking with my fiance last night. Yes, that's fine. That's totally that's totally great. All right, it's clear. Thanks, Hamdi. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right, let's try another one. Uh, okay, here's one. Talk down. So talk up means say great things about something. Glad to be back. I talk with. Uh, no, Ben, as you don't need talk with about. I talk about my apartment with my friends. So no two with. I'd like to talk about people who talk about others. <laughs> okay, Ronnie, you can do that. <laughs> Perfect English. All right. I won't go to school because I feel run down. Rana, that's tomorrow. Yes. That's true. I hope I hope you feel better. So talk down is another phrasal verb and it means if you talk down to someone you're the way you're talking makes them sound like they are less than you all right so i'm a i'm a teacher and if i was saying to one of you well you're just a student so what you say doesn't matter i'm talking down to you right that's a, that's really bad okay uh igor hello igor Nice to see you. Yeah, Igor is here. That's wonderful. We got more people showing up. That's great. So we did that. There's a, there's a run, th those things. How about we go now? Where am I? Here I am. Okay, Oleg. Phrasal verb. Yes, that's, a, I just turned the page, Oleg. There's a lot of phrasal verbs. And remember, you don't, me mentioning them here is not you're going to learn them right away and keep them. It's more about exposure. And that's why reading for fun is the absolute best way. Because reading for fun, you get exposed to words every day. I talked, no, you don't talk down with. You talk down to your dad. You talk down to someone. Talk down to and said that he is stupid. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't think your dad liked that. Oh, your cousin from Brazil. Okay, Igor. Wonderful. Ronnie's cousin. Great. The family's showing up. That's that's wonderful. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, which books can you recommend? Uh, good question, Oleg. Uh, the problem with me recommending books is the key to improve your vocabulary is you have to read books that you are interested in. So I don't know what books everyone's interested in. I know what I like. I like hockey. <laughs> and I like uh, nonfiction books. I like books about teaching. Hello, Muhammad. Uh, but you, the key is you have, to find, you have to find books that you're interested in. Book, magazine, or website, anything. We got some more things here. A synonym of talk around is disregard. Uh, not quite disregard, because disregard means almost like ignore. But if you're talking down, I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to you in a very disrespectful way. Okay? Uh, Pappy, great teachers never talk down to their students. I totally agree. 
So no matter what students I have and what level, I always talk to them, and I think this, honestly, that they are smarter than I am. Because here you guys are, many, many countries around the world, and you are very good at English. Me, I only got one language. You guys have at least two languages or more, so I know you're very intelligent. So when teachers talk down to students, I, I, I hate that. I hate that. Uh, hello, teacher. It's a sunny in Algeria. Great. Oh, Marina. Great. I try not to talk down to my students. They are teenagers. They can be easily offended by such men. That's right, Marina. You don't want to offend teenagers. You gotta. And I think if you treat everybody with respect and treat them as adults, they act like adults. What is the light behind you on the chair? Come from the sun. Oh, you mean where am I? Over here. Yes. There's a window. <laughs> there's a window here, and there's light coming in there. Is that bothering you? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Just sunshine, yeah. I don't know if it was bothering. Okay. All right. Let's do a little bit more uh, vocabulary. Do some vocabulary things here. All right. These are wor words, I don't think we've done these ones before, words about crimes. All right, I just typed it in there, words about crimes. So I'm going to give you a sentence, and I'll give you the blank, and try and guess that. Joe is a nice guy. Kiko is a wonderful person also. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's a sentence, and we're looking for a noun, and it starts with a B. This might be a hard one, and it's a type of crime. It is illegal to offer money to an elected official. That is called M, mm, and the word starts with B. Burglar, no. Blame, no. So I'm trying to give money to the president of my country, and he, secret money, and he's going to help my company. Oh, Marina got it. Bribery. Bribery. Okay. Bribery. Bribery is that crime word. Bribery. Okay. So that's giving secret money to the government, government official, and they help you, help your country, some help your company. Okay, do you guys have any bribery in your countries? In Canada, we have some bribery sometimes in our country. Any bribery going on around the world, or is it only Canada? Oh, oh, oh nobody's saying yes. Maybe it's only Canada. <laughs> oh, Turkey has it, unfortunately. A lot of... Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. I, I, it's, I think when people start in politics, I think maybe, I hope maybe, they are good people and they want to help the countries all over the world. But sometimes there's, there's so much money available. It's hard to say no, I think, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> it's too bad. It's too bad. All right, let's do another crime word. Ready? Here we go. All right, the man broke into, all right, oh, Hamdi, yeah, I totally agree with you, teacher. Beginning of the politics, yeah, everything seems good, yeah. Okay, oh, I think there's bribery all over the world, yes, Joe. I just wanted to introduce my little cousin, Igor. I'm going to leave now because I need to start working on the other essay, Worldview. It is an interesting subject, and I think I'll enjoy it. Okay, Ronnie, okay, thanks for bringing Igor. Oh, Jose, hello. Miami, wonderful. Oh, I've never been down to Miami. <laughs> All right. Not always money. Often gifts. Yes, Mohammed. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so let's go into another crime word. The man broke into their house, so he was charged with M. Mm. This is a noun, and it starts with B. Who will get this one first? Who will guess this one first? The man broke into their house, so he was charged with 
Mm. Starts with B. Abba Bucker. Yes. Hi. Marina got it. Yeah. Burglary. Yeah. Burglary. So that is stealing in somebody's house. Abo from Libya. Nice to see you, Abo. All right. Yeah. So burglary. That's the word we wanted. Burglary. So if you break into someone's house and you steal something from their house, usually it's secret while they're sleeping. So you got to be quiet. Burglary. Okay. Yes. And Marina, you win money. Uh, do you, you just have to go next door and steal it from your neighbor's house tonight. Okay. <laughs> you got to be sh very quiet. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay. Here's another one. This is a noun. Starts with T. Burglary and picking pockets are two types of mm. Burglary and picking pockets are two types of mm. What do you think? Starts with a T. A thief, no, burglary is the is the action, not the person. Burglar is the person. I hope burglary gets lower in my country. I hope so too. No, thief, thief is the person. Marina got it again. We've got that one. Theft, right? Theft is the noun, meaning the action, stealing. Thief is the person, okay? Uh, thieving, a little bit, but theft is the more common word, Mohammed. Theft, T-H-E-F-T. -E yeah, theft. Okay, let's go on. Okay, this one you might get. This one you might get, everybody. All right, everybody's getting theft, theft now, right? Oh, Farida. Hi, Farida. <laughs> All right, we got the next one. <laughs> because Marinette's getting all the answers. Don't worry, she's, she's a great person and she'll share the money. Don't worry. Here we go. Number four, the gang stole $10 million during the bank M. Mm. It's a noun and it starts with R. The gang stole $10 million during the bank M. Mm. What's a crime? Bank M. Mm. Starts with R. Simon's got it. Robbery. Farida got it. Myrna got it. Yes, robbery, robbery, robbery. I tell you, little spelling problem there. You put rubbery, so that's like like rubber. Yeah, robbery, bank robbery. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Simon got that one first. Simon, congratulations. You can pick up your million dollars at your local bank. Just go in and tell them, hey, I'm here for my money. All right. Robbery, R-O-B-B-E-R-Y, robbery. Poverty and burglary are brothers. The very wise, Benaz, yes. Yeah, poverty often is connected with a lot of crimes because people have to. Uh, Jose, assault, so that means hurting someone, hitting someone. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Number five, everybody. Uh, I, think, I think you'll know this one. Number five. Killing someone is called homicide or mm. Killing someone is called homicide or mm. Simon got it. Yeah. Who else has got it? Maybe it takes a while. Sexual assault? Well, well, that's another crime, but that's not what we're talking about here, Muhammad. Arash is right. Pappy's right. Yeah. Farida. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, murder. We were looking for murder. Murder equals homicide. Yeah, murder equals homicide. 
Uh, Junior, hello, Junior. Assassination is a crime, and it is murder, but it's particular. Assassination is a murder of someone uh, very famous. So if somebody kills me, that's just murder. It's not assassination. If somebody kills uh, Barack Obama, that's assassination. He's a famous person, okay? All right? So it's usually a world leader that has in, the, in danger of that type of murder. So slightly different. All right, okay, let's do another one. Let's try number seven. Okay, all right. Uh, genocide, yes, that's murder of many people. All right, criminals are often very good at mm or hiding the truth. Criminals are often very good at mm or hiding the truth. So what word am I talking about? Your dad is an assassin? Okay. All right. So criminals are often very good at, mm, so this is uh, close. Laying means uh, laying down. Slightly different spelling. What's another word? Hiding the truth. Lay, no, Abo, that's laying down. Oh, Lolly's here. Hi, Lolly. Dira, hi Dira. Yes, you got it. Arash has got it. Faridah's got it. Muhammad's got it. Yeah. So you got to be careful about the spelling. Oh, Nurulon he. Hi there. <laughs> yes, lying. Lying. Megha, lying. Yeah, lying. So people are good at lying. I think criminals are. Uh, to conceal something, conceal the truth, that means hide the truth. Yes. Okay. Oh, that looks like uh, looks like Russian. I'm not sure. I can't read that one. <laughs> All right. So lying. All right. Okay. Let's do this one. All right. Here's another crime word. See if you got this one. Taking a person and then asking for money for the person's return is mm. This is a, a crime word, a noun, and it starts with K. Taking a person and then asking for money. So you take the person. Marina's got it. Yeah, anybody else? Type in this one. Well, to kidnap, yeah, but I was looking for kidnapping, Lolly. Yeah, kidnapping. It's because kidnap is the is the verb kidnapping is the noun uh, retention that means just keeping something like usually we use retention Hamdi for remembering words yeah kidnapping kidnapping all right <laughs> I'll type it in anyway even though everybody <laughs> kidnapping yes all right. Kidnapping and asking, asking for ransom. Yes, ransom means the money that you must pay to get the kid back or get the person back. Yeah, it's a horrible crime, often with kids. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Here's another sentence, everybody. Secretly taking things from a store is called... Mm, this is a crime word, and it starts with S. Secretly taking things from a store is called... Mm. Um, well, we'd say stealing, but it's a special type of stealing from a store. So everything, like burglary is stealing, uh, stealing a car, but this is from a store. Marin has got it. There's the word, shoplifting. Yeah, so stealing is just the general overall word for many crimes, but stealing from a store secretly is shoplifting, shoplifting. So you go into a store and, right? That's called shoplifting, okay? All right, so maybe that's a new word for some people, shoplifting. So everybody, to help you remember that, 
go your homework is to go to a store and I'm joking don't do any shoplifting I'm not I was just joking please don't do it <laughs> I don't want anybody to get in trouble all right let's try this one this this word might be a little hard for you might be new can we practice shoplifting? <laughs> uh, you can, but I suggest you don't. All right? Don't. Just watch a movie about shoplifting. All right. Here's another one. Police officers who investigate big crimes are called mm. So this is a noun. It, it is people and starts with D. Police officers who investigate big crimes are called M. Mm. So this is D. Starts with a D. Oh, Lolly's got it. Yeah, but we want police officers, so many, so detectives, detectives. Yeah. So you have the plain clothes police officers, those are detectives. The uniform police officers are younger, lower level. So detectives, yes. detectives police detectives and also you can see lots of movies or TV shows where uh, that are about private detectives so that's when you hire a guy or a woman to solve a crime police detect a private detective okay nice okay okay how about this sentence uh, like CSI, yes. <laughs> We're learning. So many detectives in Korean dreams. Oh, okay, okay. Batman, yes, he was a private detective. Um, <laughs> and I think the the, the, the original com DC is Detective Comics. That's his, the company. Detective Columbo, yes, famous TV show. Yes. All right, you guys got it. All right, here's another one. And this one, this one might be a Detective Conan. I don't know. I don't know that show, Adil. Detective Conan. Hopefully it's a good show. All right. Here's another one. This one should be easy for you. This is a verb. It starts with S. It is not okay to mm a car if you miss your bus. All right. It is not okay to mm a car if you miss your bus starts with s a superman well he's a superhero but he also stop okay marin has got it lolly's got it yeah yeah steal it's not okay to steal a car all right if you miss your bus all right start a car well if you're starting a car, you're just it's, it's not a crime. Maybe you're in your own car, but steal a car, that's a crime. Okay? All right. Uh, let, me add, let me do a little survey here. You guys can answer yes or no. I played a game this, this uh, place some month ago. Good game to practice criminal words. Oh, okay, okay. So, steal. Let me ask you this. If you were... A homeless person, right? You don't have a home. You're living on the streets. Would you steal food? Who would say yes to that? You don't have any family. You're living on the street. You're homeless. Yes or no? Would you steal food if you were very hungry? Simon says, nah, no. Farida, no. Nigga, no. No. Arash says, no. Junior, yes. Hamdi, no, 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 no. Marina, yes, no, no, no. Wow, no. I would steal beer, <laughs> lolly. Yeah. Junior said two times. There you go, one boom. Yeah. Yes, so some people, yes. Some people, no. Never do it. I would rather ask for work. Yeah, that's mega. That's probably much better. Ask for a job, yeah. Who steal from the rich and arrogant people. Yes. And Oleg says, of course, yes. Why not? It's good good practice. All right. Some people know. Some, so everybody's different. There's some people, yes. Some people, no. Yeah. 
And it depends. Yeah, Abo says it depends. Yeah. All right. Here's, here's my last crime word. Okay. Let's see if you can get this one. This is a noun, and it starts with R. Simply ask for food. Yes, Farida, you are wonderful. Yes. If you steal money and say that it is for food yeah steal money first okay <laughs> all right so here's here's my sentence to steal or die yes i don't want to die yeah all right if you go to jail they'll give you free food so that's you know jail's wonderful yeah yeah alex yeah real hunger so it's super hungry it's hard it's hard all right Let's see. This is my last crime word. See if you guys get it. It's uh, a noun. It starts with the letter R. Many people think M and murder are the two most serious crimes. Many people think M and murder are the most serious crimes. Can you guess this one? Starts with an R. Uh, serial killer? No, 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 Hamdi. Uh, murder is one of them, but this is the other one. And serial killer is just a murderer who kills many people. It's that second graveyard. Yes. Yeah, Bangladeshi. Yeah, true. I'm just joking when I say jail is wonderful. Please don't go to jail. Rubbery? Uh, no, no. No, Irene, no, more serious than robbery. More serious, Farida. More, Jimmy, more serious than robbery. What's worse than robbery? Hmm? <laughs> Teaching words. All right, repeat, please. Okay, here it is. Many people think, hmm, and murder are the most serious crimes. Run away? No, running away is not a serious crime. Assault? Well, it starts with the letter R, Jose. Let me... Robbery? A lot of people guessing robbery, but that's not it. It's, not the, it, it's more serious than that. It's worse than that. Eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right, I, Mega, I think you got it, but the, your your spelling is wrong. You're saying rapping. Rapping is like music. Yo, yo, yo. The word we wanted was rape. Rape, that like sexual assault. Okay? Having sex and the person doesn't want sex. Understand? So that, yeah. Oh, Kiko's got it. Yeah. Oh my God, that is uh, that's the right uh, the right response. So that's what people think are the two most serious: killing someone. Marina, you wrote it twice. Marina, where? I don't. I don't even see Marina. So, okay, if you wrote it, I didn't see it. Sorry, Marina. Okay. Anyway, that's the end of my of my crime words. All right. I gave the good answer. You didn't see it. Mohammed, you wrote down the right word too. 1542. I can't I don't see any times here. That's really strange. Yeah. Hey, Marina, we don't see your messages. Okay. That's very strange. Okay. So some people said they wrote it and I didn't see it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I believe that you're writing it. I don't I don't think you're lying, but I just can't see it. I just see robbery, robbery, robbery. Oleg said, repeat, please. Run away, assault. Okay, all right. Some messages of mine are not visible. Okay, okay. So that's interesting. Some of the messages are not coming through. That's too bad. Yeah, okay. I was hoping. Oh, Halano is back in town, everybody. Hello, Halano. Welcome. Okay, it's a crime that you don't see. Yes. Yeah, that's a bad one. Let's go on to some more happier words. How about? All right? Let's go on. 
and you wrote it too. It's really strange because I didn't see anyone write it. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if maybe there's some kind of block uh, on the on the YouTube thing because it's such a terrible word. Maybe people it's blocked on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going to let's now we're going to talk about city words, words that have to do with cities. Okay? I'll give you another word and you guess. Okay? All ready? You ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. There could be a glitch. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Number 1. I don't like living in a big city because it is too m. Mm. There are too many people. I don't like living in a big city because it is too mm. There are too many people. This is a word, it's an adjective and it starts with C. Okay, oh, the, the words are coming so fast now. Uh, Mega got a crowdy. Hamdi, Halano. All right, Lolly put down, you put, Lolly, you wrote crowed. So crowed is a bird. Crowded, crowded. Yeah, crowded. Uh, Kamal, you wrote a good one. Congest, congestion, that can mean lots of people, but congested. So crowded, yeah. So the way you spell it, is that C R O W D E D crowded crowded okay i don't like living in a big city because it is too crowded there are too many people so how about how about you guys uh tell me about your cities are your cities crowded or not too bad what city are you living in and is it crowded or not too crowded Because I live in Halifax. That's a small city in Canada. It's not too crowded. Okay. Uh, Hamdi said, my hometown is not. Thank God I live in a town, at least. Not bad. Not too bad, Kamal. That's good. I live in the middle of nowhere. Okay, Marina, out in the country, maybe. I live in a small city with 100,000 people. Okay, Oleg. Uh, Dhaka is too crowded. Yes, I've heard that's crowded in Cairo. Cairo is a very big city. Rajasthan, Bill Kenner, not so crowded. There are not much, not much people living here. I live in a little town, Lolly, not too crowded. Nice. I like this expression, crowded. Yeah. I live in a small village. It's not crowded. Irene. I live in Changdegar city. It's known as a city as the most beautiful city in India, but maybe not crowded. My home is not big, good, small city. Miami is too so check your spelling, Jose. My Miami is too crowded. You missed a D, but yeah, Miami's a big city. Tegucigalpa is crowded and traffic murders. Okay. Sorry, Papi. Big lots of crowds there. Thank God I'm a country guy. Tokyo, yeah, that's certainly a crowded city. Because it, be, I like my hometown because it's quiet. Uh, what about your hometown, teacher? My hometown. I live in Halifax, on the east coast of Canada, and it's uh, it's not a big city. It's a, a small city, so we're okay. My little town is quiet and without traffic jams. Lolly. Mansur Kuja. Kiko. Tokyo is too crowded. I can't breathe. Okay, Kiko, yes. I'm living in Teresina, about 800,000 people. So for me, 800,000 people, that is a big city, <laughs> Ilano. But I don't know if you think it's crowded. Because if you think of uh, other Brazilian cities, they're much, much bigger. Rio and Brasilia, Sao Paulo, those are super cities, super crowded. Okay, let's go on to the next word. Okay, this is an, another adjective. And the dogs and cats are crowded. Okay, lots of dogs and cats. All right, here we go. This is a, uh, an adjective, starts with uh, 
uh, Q. All right. But it's smaller than Halifax. Okay. In Iraq, where I love, there is any kind of traffic jam. Okay. Okay, Archon. Okay. Here we go. Try and guess this word. Try and guess this word. Mm of life is very important for me and my family. Mm of life is very important for me and my family. So it starts with a Q. Mm of life. And I'm going to have a drink. No, not money. Elisa's got it. Hamdi's got it. Yes. Quality. Quality. Yeah. Quality of life. So, yeah, so you, it, it kind of all goes together. Quality of life. Quality of life. That's how we talk about how good your life is. All right? So my quality of life. I have a house. Uh, I have a car. My wife and I both have jobs. Our kids are happy and healthy. We have a good quality of life. Okay? So you can say quality of life is very important. So also, quality of life is different in different cities, in different countries. Right? And in the city to the countryside, the quality of life is different. Oh, Kiko says QOL. All right. Okay. Okay, let's do another one. This is a noun. Starts with Excuse me, this is a noun that starts with R. I think this one's a little harder. Sure, Mohammed, some people love living in, cr in crowded cities. Yes. Joe, do you give courses of translation? Uh, I don't give courses of translation because I only know English. Sorry. In a different culture. Quality of life in Belarus is not so good as people expect. Okay, Oleg. Here's another word, though. Here's another word. It's, it's a noun, it's people, and it starts with R. Might be harder. I enjoy meeting the local M who live on my street. I enjoy meeting the local M who live on my street. So it's people, but it starts with R. Oh, Marin has got it right away. Excellent. Residence. Ms. Harvindig Darjeet has it. Lolly has it. Yes. Uh, Hamdi has it, but you have uh, the other spelling because there's two. All right. Let me write this down. Residence equals people And residence, that spelling, is a place to live. All right? So same pronunciation. Residence, residence. Exactly the same present, uh, present, uh, pronunciation. All right? Yeah. Kiko, you didn't get it. So residence. So there are 20 million residents in Tokyo. That means 20 million people. Residence, that means the people who reside there. To reside means to live. People reside in Tokyo. People live in Tokyo. So they are residents. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Here's another easy one. This is an easy one. Number four. Cities with lots of cars usually have a lot of air. Mm. Cities with lots of cars usually have a lot of air. Mm. Inhabitants, yeah. Same as residents. <clears throat> Sorry, pollution, pollution. Yeah, you wouldn't say air problems. I was looking for air pollution. Uh, polluted is an adjective. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, pollution is the noun, yeah. So we're looking for air pollution. You'd say... Beijing has a lot of air pollution. If you want to use the word polluted, you got to change the grammar. So Beijing is very polluted. Okay? 
Beijing has a lot of air pollution. Beijing is very polluted. Same idea, but you change it from an adjective to a noun. You've got to change the grammar. Okay, let's try another one. Another city word. This is a noun that has a lot of air pollution. Yeah, a lot of big cities have air pollution. Yeah, all right. This is uh, a noun, and it starts with the letter D. Okay, here we go. Urban M can go well if the government has a good plan. Urban M has a, oh, no, urban M can go well if the government has a good plan. So what do you think? Starts with the letter D. And it's got four syllables. A lot of times it goes with the word urban. Mega's got it. Junior's got it. Krishna has got it. Halano's got it. Arash, no, no. Hamdi, you got the, a, different, uh, a different form of it, but we wanted the noun. Develop is the verb. We wanted development. Yeah, urban development urban development. So some cities, they have a good plan and they develop well and people can live there easily. But some cities, they develop too fast and it's bad urban development. Yeah. Ali, wow, you look great for the beer. Thank you, Ali. Yeah, you're the first person to say that today. <laughs> All right. Wow, a lot of people got that one. Urban development. Okay, let's keep going. Here's another one. Number six. Number six, all right. Uh, now that I own a car, I don't use m transportation very often. Now that I own a car, I don't use m transportation very often. Okay, Arkan's got a question. Do you get special lessons in return for free? Sorry, my friend. No, don't worry about your question. Uh, public is the right, yeah. Public transportation. Yes, everybody got that one. Arkan, uh, I'm act actually too busy to teach uh, private lessons, so I don't I don't teach people privately. I have courses that you you can ask me about. Just send me a message on uh, Instagram, and I can write back to you. Yeah, public transportation. Public trans. Joe, you're. Joe, you are amazing. Just to make sure that someone made this statement today. Halano, yes, you're fantastic too. Right. Halano. Halano, do you remember doing this pose in the class? But then I look terrible because I've got no hair. <laughs> Halano, everybody, used to be in my class in Canada. He came to Canada and studied in my class at my university. And he is a fantastic student and he's going to become a really fantastic teacher. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's, uh, everybody got public transportation. That was uh, super easy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go on to another one. One thing that is needed downtown is more mm spaces. One thing that is needed downtown is more mm spaces. What do you think? <laughs> Pitch picture. That is, I should get that picture and show it to everybody somehow. All right. One thing. Oh, Faraday's got it. Yeah. So what you need, people drive their cars downtown and they need more mm, spaces, parking spaces. Parking spaces. Life is beautiful. Hello, hello. <laughs> Expensive? No, no. Prehensive by Zoom. I, I don't know anything about Zoom. All right. So the sentence, I'll repeat it again. One thing that is needed downtown is more mm spaces. So the answer was parking spaces. Parking spaces. Uh, you're still up. Yes, life is beautiful. We're still alive. We're still here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm only 
I'm not even halfway through all the stuff. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. Thanks for coming. Okay. So, Jose, a parking lot is one big square that has many parking spaces. Yes. No, no, the live is not over. It's still going. That's my problem, always to find a parking space around my block. Yes, that's a big problem for many people, Farida. Yeah, right? Because the parking spaces get used up, and then you, where do you, you're going to park far away, maybe, and walk back to where you're going? A lot of people. Okay. Uh, I think I'll probably teach just here and on Instagram for now. All right. Here we go. Here's another word. Let's try another word, everybody. Number eight. I live in an urban setting, but my brother lives in a more mm area. And this starts with an R. It's an adjective starts with R. I live in an urban setting but my brother lives in a more mm area. Lolly's got it. Anybody else get this word? Yes, Marina. Perfect. Farida's got it. Hamal's got it. Hamdi's got it. Arash, wonderful. Rural area. Muhammad's got it. Yes, Mega. All right, that's great. Yeah, rural, a rural area. So I live in a city, but my brother, he lives in a town. Okay? He lives in a town. All right. I like to live in rural, I like to live in rural areas, Hamdi. So areas. Yeah, I grew up in a rural area. I subscribed to your YouTube channel, but we are a friend on both Facebook for a long time. I saw your Facebook updates and came to know that you're going to lie. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, I use Instagram and YouTube more now. Yeah, because I, I lost Facebook for a long time. I forgot my password. <laughs> so I don't use Facebook very much at all anymore. Here's another sentence, though. This one might be easy for you. Might be easy. This is a noun. Heavy mm is a part of daily life on the streets of New York. Heavy mm is a part of daily life on the streets of New York. Oh, thank you, Mega. Yes, traffic, Ali, you're right. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Heavy traffic. Heavy traffic, yeah. Life, thank you for reading my message. Of course, I try to read everybody's message. If they say something, yeah, traffic, traffic. Heavy air, no, I would say heavy traffic, okay? Heavy traffic is the word we're looking for. And uh, I think a lot of people think their towns might have heavy traffic, even where my brother lives. He thinks sometimes there's heavy traffic there because you have to wait one or two more minutes to get home. But if you go to huge cities around the world, Tokyo, Seoul, Sao Paulo, London, New York, right, Cairo, that's real heavy traffic, really heavy traffic. I read a lot. Yes, I'm trying to read a lot, everybody. Heavy traffic. Istanbul, yes, another... One of the super city, mega city in the world. Certainly heavy traffic. Paris, yes. All my friends. Thank you, Mega. I hope you have one million friends. <laughs> All right. There's heavy traffic in the sky. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a song. Tehran will certainly have heavy traffic. Of course. Of course. Big, big cities like that. And what I've, what I've learned from my travel, when I traveled around the world... Um, there were some some cities that were the old older cities that were developed before cars, so their their streets are much more narrow. So now that we have cars, it's super hard to travel in those cities because the streets, yeah, heavy traffic, 
hours to reach home. Yes. Have you been to Cairo? No, Farida, I've never been to Cairo. Uh, I'd love to visit Egypt someday. Uh, I've read about it. It's fascinating. The history is amazing. Uh, and I will. I will go there someday. Uh, but not yet. Not yet. But it's on the list. On the list. All right, let's do another one. All right, this uh, next one, this is a noun. This is a noun, and it starts with the letter P. Do you know what the M of Chicago is? Do you know what the M of Chicago is? I'm going to look it up. The part, no. Junior's got it. Okay, okay. Population, yes, Farida. Population, population. Yeah, so the word we want when you're talking about cities, a lot of times you talk about population. How big are they? Population is the right word. So I just looked it up on my phone. All right. Can, let's have a little quick guessing game right now. Can you get who can guess the population of Chicago? Write down some numbers. What can you guess? What is the population of Chicago? I just looked it up on Google. <laughs> so you can get you can either look it up too or you can guess <laughs> the guessing game is just for fun 1.5 million 5 million I think generally the whole size it's like 5 or 6 million but this is just talking about the thing Adira's uh, got it 2.7 million 2.7 million so I, of course just like any big city the city just keeps on going out and out and it doesn't stop so I'd say if you count all of the environment, probably five, six, or seven million around Chicago. But in the area that's only Chicago, the you Google says two point seven million. All right. Okay, so it depends on what size you're talking. All right, let's do another city. Let's do another city. Okay. Here's another city word. This is a noun. It's plural noun. Starts with T. All right, you ready? It's a noun. It's a plural noun. Starts with T. Millions of m mm visit places like Broadway and Times Square each year. Hi, Mira. <laughs> Millions of m mm visit places like Broadway and Times Square each year. Mega's got it. Marna's got it. Myra's got it. Krishna. Junior. Lolly. So we want the plural, Dira. Hi, Nimala. Hi there. <laughs> yeah. Tourists. Tourists. Millions of tourists. All right. That's right. Tourists is the right end. Millions of tourists go to New York City and they see Broadway and Times Square. Okay. Millions of tourists. Yes. All right. Let's do a little question. What do you think is the biggest tourist attraction in your country? So, for example, in, uh, in Canada, I put it in the chat there. A lot of people come to Niagara Falls. That's one of the popular tourist attractions in Canada, Niagara Falls. What, right in the chat, what's a very popular or maybe the number one tourist attraction in your country? See if we know them all. See if they're world famous. Ah, another drink. Uh, Sahara Desert, of course, Mira. You know, Christ the Redeemer, the big statue on the mountain. Yeah. Pyramids of Giza. 
the Taj Mahal, wonderful. Carpathian Mountains, yes, famous mountains. Anybody else who's got another thing? The Eiffel Tower, world famous. Oh, I don't know if I know that one, Kamal. Tajmid in Shiraz. I'm not sure of that one. The Taj Mahal, yeah. Chernobyl, okay, okay. Do people go there? I mean, the Colosseum in, in Italy, yes. Goddess Karni Ma Temple in Bikaner Deshok, Google. I will try to Google that. Cox's Bazaar, I don't know, but I want to look it up. Dushanbe, I don't know that one. Azadi Tower, I think I've heard of Azadi Tower, yeah. The Statue of Liberty in New York, yes, that's another one. The Waterfalls of Iguacu, Iguacu, all right. Uh, foreigner, foreigners believe that Mary, Miriam Anna was born in F.S. Harabali. Okay, all right. It's famous for thousands of rats living. Oh, rats. Okay. <laughs> thousands of rats living there. I, okay. <laughs> Come on, it's very popular. All right. Cox's Bazaar is the world's longest sea beach. Okay, that'd be something to see. All right. So even after we're done here, everybody, if you want to go and uh, Google these places, they're probably really interesting places to see. The Tower of Pisa in Italy. Uh, many times I do this in my in my classes in my university. The first day, I get <laughs> Big Ben and London. I get students to look up famous places in their sit in their in their countries, and then they show each other. And it's a great way for students to get together and be interested in each other. And I love that because in my classes at school, it's super important that everybody become friends. That's a big part of how I teach. It's got to be friendly. All right. So after this is done, I'm going to check these things out. Or, or everybody, if you uh, if you want, if you're following me on Instagram, send me a link to a picture or something of those famous places. I would love to see those. All right. Hello, Khan. Hi. Alhambra in Spain. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on to our next. Let's go on to our next word. All right. Another city word, everybody. 12. Here we go. This is uh, this is a noun, starts with S, but in this sentence, it's an adjective because there's a noun after it. Uh, what's my Insta handle? Okay, okay. Some people don't know me. All right. It is... Uh, oh. There we go. Yeah, my Insta handle. I am enjoying your YouTube live. Thank you. I hope I hope everybody is enjoying this live. I know I'm having a good time. Look at all the things I'm learning. I'm having a great time. All right, so here's our new sentence. Toronto has a bus system, streetcar system, and a mm system. Toronto has a bus system, streetcar system, and a mm system. What do you think? What goes there? Mariner's got it. Yeah, Mega, Alex, Myra, Junior, wonderful. Yeah, everybody's got it. Subway system. Subway, Ali, Tube, Underground, Metro. Yeah, those are other words. Yeah. In Toronto, they just call it uh, the subway. Yeah. Subway system. Yeah. My city, Halifax, we don't have a subway system. Yeah. Do uh, Let's do a little survey here. Do, the, do your cities have subway systems? The city where you live, does it have a subway system? You can write down whether or not your city has one or doesn't have one. Mira says no. Mega, nope. Capital letters. Mega might be angry. Nope. 
All right. In London, subway is different. Yeah, in, in London, they call it the tube. We don't have a subway system. Okay. Algiers has a subway. Okay. We don't. Kamal. No. Nimala. Nope. Lolly. Nope. Too small. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. Maybe uh, most of us are small town people. Okay. Underground Metro. Okay. Only Minsk has a subway in Belarus. Okay. Okay. Only Sao Paulo has. Okay. All right. Didn't know. Yes. No. I know you're not angry, Mega. <laughs> I'm just joking. Remember, I just joke around <laughs> all the time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there's a metro in Egypt yeah okay wonderful let's do let's do another one here's another uh, another city uh, city word number 13 okay only two cities have have subway okay some smart cities have started using mm energy from the sun some smart cities have started using mm energy from the sun what word goes in there yes yes well we don't call it sun energy we call it as everybody's saying solar energy solar energy yes solar energy yeah. Okay. That was an easy one. That was an easy one. I think that one's too easy. This one, this, the, my next one, sustainable. That's a good word. Yeah. Because solar energy is sustainable. Here, this next one, this is number 14. This is the last one of these words. Uh, this one <laughs> might be hard because maybe it's not as common. Let's try. This is an adjective and it starts with G. It is important for cities to have parks and mm spaces. It is important for cities to have parks and mm spaces. What do you think goes in there? Gape? Nope. Mariner's got it. Myra's got it. Yeah. garage no no lolly the the word we are looking for is green my sister's helping me okay that's good ali so so the word we're looking for was green spaces so a green space could be it could be big like a park or it could be just a small grass area uh maybe some benches maybe some trees maybe some flowers so some nature inside the city that's what a green space is okay some kind of nature inside the city. Green space. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Do you want to do some, uh, some, uh, let's do some guessing. Some guessing fun games to uh, win a million dollars. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think I've done this one before, though. Yes, of course, of course. Okay. But I got to go to the page that you guys haven't done before. All right, let's try this one. All right, this is a thing about kilometers. Okay. How many kilometers around is the sun? How many kilometers around is the sun? I see them. You're counting. <laughs> All right, Mega. <laughs> All right. So many. Yes, yeah, yeah. There's so many. <laughs> Billions. Uh, that's ten thousand. How often do I do live? Uh, recently, I figured out how to do it, and in the last week, I've done it five times. No idea, Mira. All right. Uh, 1.5 million, all right, 600,000. It's less than 1.5 million. 
where am I? Less than 1.5 million. Less than 1.5 million. Oh, Shahir has got it. It's 1 million. Shahir Mossad. It's 1 million kilometers around the sun. 1 million kilometers around the sun. Wow. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do another one. Yeah, sunlight takes eight minutes until it gets here. Yeah, because it's so far away. All right, here we go. Here's another one. This is about years. How old? How old is the oldest human art? How old is the oldest human art? So think about something that's painted on the wall. How many years old is the oldest human art? No idea. I know nobody has an idea. We're just guessing, Ali. Just guessing for fun. How old is the oldest human art? 7,000. Older Shahar. It's a good guess, but a little older. 10,000, Junior? Older. 5,000. Older. Uh, 2.1 years? <laughs> no, 500 years? Older. 30,000? Younger. Younger than 30,000. More than 13,000. More than 15,000. 10 million? No, 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 no. Less than 28,000. More than 15. Between 28 and 15. Oh, Shahar's got it. 20,000 years old. That's what I found on the internet. 20,000 years old. All right. That's just the number I was looking for, and we, we guessed it, and you heard my guesses. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this one. All right. Uh, here's one. It's, it's, about, it's a number. It's a big number. How many new babies are born each week? How many new babies are born each week? Who can guess this one? How many new babies are born each week? Uh, eight, no, no, no. A million. More than a million. Hello, Carlos. More than a million. Less than 15 million. More than 1 million, but less than 15 million. All right, Junior. More than a million. More than 1 million. Less than 3 million. Between 1 and 3 million. No. Nope. More than 1 million. Less than 3 million. 2 million. Less than 2 million. More than 1 million. And less than 2 million. More than 1 million. And less than 2 million. The next round is probably going to get it 1.9. No. Oh, Mira's got it. 1.5 million. 1.5 million babies. Now, this was actually, I looked this up, I think, a year ago or two years ago. So it could be higher now. But the number I have is 1.5 million babies each week. That's a lot of babies. That is a lot of babies. Okay, let's go. Okay, here it's going. Here's a good question for if anybody is a farmer. Oh, good day again, Joe. Hi, Ronnie. Welcome back. <laughs> you had fun with your essays? All right. Here's a question if there's any farmers out there. Okay. How many eggs can one chicken lay per year? On average, how many eggs can a chicken lay per year?
Whoa, that's really close. Hamdi, you got it right off the bat. Yeah, 250. I just looked away for a minute and people were guessing. Hamdi's got it, 250. Nirmala, 5,000. That's too many for one year. <laughs> right? There's 365 days. They don't lay an egg every day. Hamdi's got it right, 250. All right, so you win a million dollars, Hamdi, and you can get that from your local chicken farmer. Just go and ask them. Yeah. All righty. Okay, let's do a little bit of uh, some surveys, talk to people and what find out about everybody. The questions are too quick. They are. I'm making them difficult because they're guessing. And uh, usually when I do this in my class, people are saying numbers. Okay? So it's getting them to practice saying English numbers. That's important. Okay? To be more fluent. But also to listen to me what's higher and lower and higher and lower. So there's a lot of communication going back. But it is hard, Kamal, on purpose. On purpose. Okay. Um, here's a question. What is what is your hobby? Write down a sentence and I'll, I'll check it to see what your hobby is and if there's a grammar mistake I'll fix it. But what is your hobby? Okay. You're enjoying it so much, Mega. I'm, I'm glad you are. So if your hobby, you'd have to say learning English. Men sir kuja. Learning English. My hobby is cycling. Shahar, my hobby is watching movies. Perfect. I like to play electric guitar. Oh, baby. Yeah. Uh, reading. Perfect. Watching soccer on, on, on TV. While drinking something like alcohol. While drinking. Hamdi. Doing crafts. Perfect. Watching movies. So, Kamal, you want to say practicing English. My hobby is shopping and traveling, Farida. Carlos, my hobby is playing football. Elise says, I love swimming. Great. Learning English, yes. Mira, watching TV, reading. Where did you go? And practicing sports, Mira. Yeah. Uh, Shahar, traveling abroad. Very good. Uh, Krishna, my hobby is singing. Great. My hobby is learning English every single day. All right, Lolly really loves English. Ronnie, I think my Google search is different than yours. Yeah, well, mine happened a long time ago, maybe a year ago, so things could be different. My hobbies, so if you're going to say hobbies, you're going to say include. My hobbies include learning English online, watching movies, listening to music, etc. Watching soccer on TV while drinking something, yes. Thanks for the correction. You're welcome. Making wine. Okay, that's your hobby. My hobby is watching Joe's videos. Yes. Uh, my hobby is learning something new. Marin is gardening. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's great. We all have good, good hobbies. It's good to have hobbies. Okay. All right. Uh, how about this one? All right, I'll put an example here in the... I'm going to put... My hobby is drinking beer. Sure, Lolly. I'm going to put an example in the chat for a sentence about the next thing I want to ask about. I, Ronnie said, I enjoy going to the gym, fishing, cycling, and catching up with my friend for a coffee. Yes. My hobbies are reading, listening to music, experimenting with cooking, watching Netflix, but last but not the least, learning English. So you don't have to say the, you can just say last but not least. What is your hobby teacher? Good question, Junior, thanks. I'd say my hobbies, I like watching movies, uh, going for walks, reading, I love reading. Yeah. All right. Okay. My hobby is learning English. Pappy. Okay. So here's the next one. This one is talking about what was the last movie you saw about? 
So here's my sentence. The, the last movie I saw was about a baseball player. The last movie I saw was about, and then you give me the, the topic of the movie, the subject of the movie. The last movie I saw was about a baseball player. Who's got another sentence? And I'll check it. The last movie I saw was about a baseball player. It's true. Or maybe not. The last one I remember. All right. All right. The last movie I saw was about teenagers. Perfect Marina. Perfect. Perfect sentence. Yeah. The last movie I saw was about a kidnapped boy. Oleg, a kidnapped boy. The last movie I saw was about a historical person. Lolly, perfect. The last movie I saw was about a young bride of India. Okay, good. The last movie I have just seen was about history. Yeah. Uh, I think you'd just say the last movie I saw was about history. Uh, the last movie I saw was about a medical crime. Nimala, that's perfect sentence. The last movie that I saw was about not a honest person. You gotta change it to a an honest person. A N an honest person. The last movie I saw was Sing Street and was about some students that started a band like Duran Duran, okay, that that started a band like Duran Duran. All right, Hamdi, the last movie I saw was about pollution of the world. Um, you don't have to say of the world, was just about pollution. Mira, the last movie I saw was about a double agent and an ordinary man. Perfect sentence. The life in my country is so exciting that I watch movies no more. Okay, okay. Or you'd say that I don't watch movies anymore. Farida, the last movie I saw was about three friends crossing the sea from Havana to Miami. Perfect, Farida. Perfect, perfect sentence. All right, that's great. Everybody, good sentences there. Okay, the last movie I saw was about one child, Denzel Washington, and her father, L L the baseball. About one child, Denzel Washington, and his father, loving baseball, and the movie was sad, but not it's, but. But not about baseball. Okay. Why saw but not watched? Okay, the last movie I saw, the last movie I watched. In this case, you can use them both. Yeah. All right. Uh, the last movie I saw was about a tsunami, Poppy. Perfect. I think tsunami is spelt with an I at the end. Ronnie, the last movie I ever watched was X-Men Apocalypse. Okay, that's a while ago. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, how about we do this one? I'm going to start a sentence, and you guys finish it. How about this one? I say, later today, I have to. So what do you have to do? What, what, what is your, on, your agenda, on your agenda? Oh, sir, urgent query. Most of the life, life's actions are within our reach. But decisions take willpower. Why? I would just say it's life's quayam, life's actions. Uh, so I have to think about some person that the last movie he saw was. <laughs> saw. All right. I uh, Later today, I have to hang out with some friends. Perfect. Later today, I have to do my... I wouldn't say householding. I would just say I have to do my chores or I have to do my household chores. Marina? Later today, I have to watch cricket. Good. 
Life is beautiful. Later today, I have to go shopping with my friends. Perfect. Later today, I have to go to, I would say, go to the kitchen to eat something. Go to the kitchen or go to my kitchen. Later today, I have to finish my work, not works. I have to finish my work. Work is non count. I have to finish my work. Elise, later today, I have to get my child from my mom's. So mom's mean M-O-M apostrophe S, mom's, mean my mom's house. Later today, I have to work, yes. Later today, I have to clean up my room, perfect. Later today, I have to study, perfect, Carlos. All right, Kayam, Poppy. Later today, I have to prepare some paperwork, perfect. Later today, I have to fold the laundry, Farida. Perfect. Okay. Later today, I have to clean up my, my home. Yes, that's perfect. All right. Uh, all right, here's another. Let's start. Later today, I have to watch. I would say not watch again. Later today, I have to watch this video again. All right, Lolly. All right. Namala, later today I have to wash vessels. If you say wash vessels, it sometimes it means like you have to wash ships. So we would just say I have to wash dishes or wash the dishes, meaning the, the dirty dishes in your kitchen. Uh, later today I have to watch, not watch, no ED, I have to watch an interesting program on TV. Afterwards, I will learn English online. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do another. What did I see? Okay. Okay. How about this one? I'm going to put down an example. See if you guys can get this one and, and do a similar one. I can't believe Joe is 51 years old. Have have why not watched? It comes after. If you do that, then uh, we're talking about sometime in the future, or in the past. But we, when we say the last movie I saw, it's not just any specific time. It's talking about a specific movie. Not lost in the past. So this one, the next one. I can't believe Joe is 51 years old. So I can't believe, and then something that's true, but it's a surprise, for example. Something that's true. I can't believe I am already 40 years old. Elise, perfect. I can't believe, so you would, wouldn't say to learn. I can't believe learning English is so easy with Joe. Yeah, all right, because you want that first. I can't believe, and then you want a noun. So to learn is a verb. You want a noun. Later today, I have to take my golden retriever dog for a walk. He kept on staring at me while I was writing my essay. I felt pity. Yes, yes, always take your dog for a walk. I can't believe my friend deceived me. Put a D on that, deceived me. Or I can't believe my friend lied to me. I can't believe Joe is teaching English for free. There you go, Poppy. Perfect sentence. Uh, I can't believe I am learning English live on YouTube with Joe. Perfect. I can't. I I can't believe I think our teacher Joe is young. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I can't believe I was born 27 years ago. Yeah. Perfect. I can't believe you won the match. Km. Perfect. Farida. I can't believe that my daughter would tag me. Tag me zip lining. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very good. That's good. I can't believe I slept for a long time. Nirmala, yes. I can't believe. So we need a noun, though, Junior. I can't believe my brother is in love. Like that. Mirna, I can't believe I just escape a meeting from me. Okay, Mira, I can't believe I just escaped, escaped a meeting to be here with you. 
I can't believe learning English is so much fun. All right, life, that's per perfect. I can't believe that Egypt participated in the last World Cup in Russia. In the last World Cup in Russia. I can't believe I was in love with a stupid boy. All right, this stupid boy or that stupid boy. I can't believe I'm getting married soon. Okay. Is oh well, congratulations! Excellent. That's great. Life. Life is beautiful, wonderful. Yes, and it's a good sentence. All right, we did a good job there. Okay, let me do another one. I can't believe she hit the dog, Nirmala. That's true. That's true. Um. I was I can't believe I was just trying to make sentences. Yes. I can't believe that people can be so cruel. Might be more. Can be so cruel. I can't believe you I'm how I'm not able to learn English. I can't believe you I'm not able to leave you. I'm not able to learn English. I can't believe you. Do we need to use that before the second part of the sentence? No. The word that a lot of times can be used or not used and the meaning doesn't change. Oleg. I can't believe learning English with you will be so much fun. Or, well, because we're doing it right now, we'd put it in the present. I can't believe learning English with you is so much fun. How about this one? Here's a new sentence. Could you mm, me mm, so could you drive me to the station? Could you give me twenty dollars? Could you something me ba 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 ba? All right. Who can think of a sentence that goes along with that? We're getting close to the end, everybody. I think I gotta stop soon. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I can't believe people are so generous and kind even in this generation. Okay, life, that's good. Could you pick me up from the station? Yes, Hamdi, perfect. Could you help me? Yes, Kayam, perfect. Could you show me the whole world? Maria, Mar Marina, that's perfect. Could you look at me while I'm talking to you? Yes, Poppy. <laughs> Could you trust me? I am telling the truth. Lolly, perfect. Could you help me with the dura? Oh, could you help me with directions to the Eiffel Tower? Could you give me a hand? Perfect. Uh, could you give me your book? Yes, rubies. Hello, rubies. All right, any other? I want to speak like native speakers. Suggest me something. All right. Uh, the main thing you have to do, or there's two things that will help you, Sanji is uh, you got to practice, get partners and start practicing, speak more, and then read. Read for fun. That's going to help your vocabulary and your grammar, and that helps your speaking. Those are the two things. And also watch videos. That's going to really help. Could you come l live on YouTube tomorrow as well, like today? I, I might. I'm off tomorrow at noon, so I might do a, li a shorter live lesson tomorrow afternoon. I will uh, post it on Instagram if I'm going to do it, though. Uh, Oleg, could you lift me to the peak of, of Mount Everest? Oleg, I can't believe he's 51 years old. Despite his beard, he looks much younger than that. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> could you give me another chance? Shahar, perfect. Could you tell me who is going to win the next election in Canada? <laughs> I wish I knew. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Kayum. <laughs> but your sentence is good. Could you pass the pen to me? I have to note something. Yes, Hamdi. Could you tell me the way to a close bar? <laughs> All right. Or could you tell me the way to the closest bar? Uh, could you come to our city? Perfect. 
Could you lend me one of your farmer farmer shirts? Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, where we got? Could you accompany me to the Doremon? To meet Doremon? Yes. That's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Bob. Okay. All right. Could you borrow? You wouldn't say borrow. Could you loan me or lend me one of your farmer shirts? Life is good. Could you create a WhatsApp group for learning English? Perfect English. I've enjoyed your live session today. I thank you so much, Joe. See you soon, everyone. Farida is leaving. All right. Good day, Canada. Ruby's attack. Sorry, I have just now joined this class. What's the difference between can you help me and could you help me? Can you help me? Could you help me? Same, same. They're the same there, Ruby's. Could you give me the telephone number of your sister? Okay, can Jimmy, yes. <laughs> Could you tell me an easy way to learn phrasal verbs? Ragad. Yes. Great phrasal verbs. And the, the best way is just read for fun every day. Uh, life, I'm asking you really, life, what was your last question? Ah, so I don't do WhatsApp. I, I have a friend who has a WhatsApp group, and I so I tell people to go there, the WhatsApp speaking club. Could you tell me how to build my confidence? My confidence. Could you pass me a beer, please? Yes, Ronnie. Could could is more polite. That possibly can you do it? Could you do it? Probably could is more polite. Uh, Hamdi, could you loan me? Ah, so Hamdi, could you loan me some money to get a ticket? Please create a WhatsApp group for learning English. Yeah. Uh, well, life, I'm already very busy already with YouTube and Instagram. So, and I'm working and I've got to take care of my beard. So I'm pretty busy. Could you help me with some academic collocations? S, collocations. Have a great week, Joe. Ronnie, cheers. Could you loan me some money? That's perfect, Hamdi. That's perfect. All right. Let's uh, let's do another one. <clears throat> Could you shave your beard? Yes, uh, probably someday I will. Just uh, just playing around, just uh, having fun with it right now. Could you sing a song for us, please? Yes, A B C D E F. That's a great song. Everybody loves that song. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Thank you for your time. You teach you despite your busy schedule. Could we go? So we wouldn't say, could we go for hangout? You'd say, could we go hang out? Could we hang out? Oleg shaved his beard today. Okay, okay. All right, here's another sentence. You can try this one. What do you think about? And then you need a noun or a noun phrase. Okay, what do you think? What's the best language, useful language to learn with him? So you'd say, what do you think? Of, so you don't, no, you don't need a what do you think there. You'd say, what is the best language, the best and most useful language to learn? All right. So what do you think about soccer? What do you think about? Uh, okay. And what do you think about me? Perfect. What do you think about? So you don't say that th that way, Sanji. What do you think about the weather in India? I'd hear. Hello. Uh, what do you think about what I think? Yes, that's perfect. What do you think about traveling, Shahar? Yeah. I think nothing about this movie. Huh. I wouldn't say it that way, Lolly. I'd say, I don't have an opinion of this movie. What do you think about traveling around the world, Marina? Perfect. All right. What do you think about the man on the moon? Perfect. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Max. <laughs> 
How is your children? How are your children? You shared their pics on Facebook earlier. They might have grown up. My children are older. My uh, son, Adam, is 16, and my daughter, Rachel, is 12 now. What do you think about immigration? Perfect question, Kayam. Uh, where it, oh, it's moving. <laughs> what do you think about moving to? Not, I wouldn't say moving on. What do you think about moving to another house? Moving to another house, Nirmala, Nirmala. Can we use doing after? What do you think about? You can any ing. What do you think about uh, doing homework? What do you think about uh, doing? doing this lesson okay yeah so any ing word can go in there what do you think about studying what do you think about going dancing uh where am i could you come live on face come live on facebook as well i uh, uh, facebook has changed so much that i just do it here now and uh i it the people who know me it took me a while to figure this out so it was hard so i just do it here what do you think about my height? Perfect. What do you think about Mars, Dira? Perfect. What? So uh, we'd say Mira. What do you think about global warming? So not the globe warming. What do you think about global warming? Junior. What do you think about the Mighty Ducks movie? It's a film about hockey. Yes, I saw that movie a long time ago. Yeah, it was fun. What do you think about that movie? Yes, Nirmala, that's perfect. What do you about think about doing something together? Hamdi, perfect. What do you think about hanging out someday with us? Perfect. What's what is the timing of lecture? What do you think about I don't understand that one, Rubies. Sorry. Life is beautiful. What do you think about new corners? No, no, okay. What do you think about newcomers? Newcomers, yes, that's perfect. What do you think about smoking, Oleg? Perfect. What do you think about Joe's life? Perfect. What do you think about Justin Trudeau? Is he good for Canadians? Yeah. What do you think? Think, not thing. Think about Justin Trudeau. Is he good for Canadians? Dira. What do you think about dancing in the rain? Perfect. Regard. Help me, Joe. I want to learn another language. Can you remember? Uh, I only know English, Regard. <laughs> you know what languages you need to learn. Is what do you think the same with, same as what about? A little bit, but what about can also be just kind of, hey, hey, you've forgotten something. Where is this? So, uh, if we're all getting in the car and they say, hey, what about John? So that just means, where is John? Is John coming? So it's not quite the same. Uh, Eduardo, hi from Brazil. Okay. Uh, what do you think about English learners online? Perfect. Oh, Kiran, what do you think about me? Perfect. I mean, at what time you come on live here for teaching us? Ah, uh, Ruby. So... Uh, this weekend, I've come on, like yesterday was 9.30 in the morning my time, and this is 9 o'clock. Last week, I did Tuesday after work, like 5 o'clock, and I did uh, Thursday after work about 5 o'clock. Uh, this week, I might do different times because I'm still getting new at this. But what I'll do is I announce it on Instagram and I sent out an email to my email learners and I the people who follow me if you guys subscribe to me on uh, YouTube then you should get a notice when I hit a when I schedule it what do you think about Joe's new farm yes lolly what do you think about drinking a beer that's good what do you think about taking up dancing Marina perfect what do you think about going abroad next month with me perfect Hamdi, I have to go now. My boss, my wife, is calling me. Thanks for your efforts. See you later. All right, Hamdi, have a great day. What do you think about education nowadays? Yes, that's perfect, Dira. What do you think about coming to my hometown and attending my wedding? 
Yeah, I would love to do that. I just don't have time or money. <laughs> but, and attending. Coming and attending. What do you think about, what do you think of? I would change that to what do you think about going out this weekend? What do you think about subject and agreement? So you got to change that. What do you think about subject verb agreement? Is it essential for us? It, it's essential if you want to be seen as a good. Okay. Yeah, Ruby. So I think eventually I will get a, 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 a schedule, but just watch my YouTube, my, uh, not YouTube, my Instagram, and I'll put up stories there. Hopefully, I get more and more consistent because this is this. I've just been doing it for one week. These lives had a lot of fun, but we got to see. All right, Marcelo. Hey there. What do you think about learning a new language? Perfect. Uh, are you? Oh, Lili said, "Are you a man or a woman?" Okay. All right. Bye, Joe. Have a great day. Nirmala. You too. See you next time. Ishak. Hello. What do you think about online English teachers these days? That's a perfect question. Ishak, I'm the, it's the first time I'm watching your live video. All right, Ishak. Well, you're, you're coming a little late. We've been doing it for almost two hours, and I'm almost going to say goodbye. But I might do it. I might do it uh, uh, again tomorrow uh, afternoon for a short time. Lolly, I'm a French girl, Elise. Ah, French girl, yes. What do you think about, hmm, I would just say, what do you think about education systems nowadays? All right. I'm really happy with your initiative. Thanks, Ruby. You drink like a man. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. What do you think about becoming fluent in English in one month? Is it possible? I don't know if one month is long enough time. English is a big language. What do you think about posting conditional sentences on Instagram? All right, that's a good sentence. It's my first live with you as well. All right, Eduardo. Thank, I hope you come back for other ones. And I've, I've done others in the past. And, uh, and then they become... Uh, what the, Once I finish, this will become a, a video on YouTube and you can watch it there because we did a lot of vocabulary, a lot of grammar practice. <laughs> All right, Ishak. Oh my God, I'm coming late. Yes, yeah. What do you think about reading books every day, Sanji? Yes, that's reading books every day is probably the, the best thing you can do for your English. What do you think about posting grammar lessons every day on YouTube? Perfect, perfect. I thought Frenchmen drink mostly wine. Yes. <laughs> some some wine lovers, some beer lovers. All right, everybody. It's it's winding down now. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to thank everybody who showed up. I really appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, we're almost two hours. This is a long one. Tomorrow, which is Monday, I work until noon. I might be able to do a live lesson tomorrow afternoon, like a shorter one, before I, I come home. I have lunch, and then uh, I might. Then I have to go pick up my kids from school, so I might be able to do a short live lesson tomorrow. Uh, if I do, I will post it on Instagram and I will send out an email to people. Okay, so please watch those things. Okay, what do we got? Too many new words today. Yes, at least don't worry about trying to remember all these words. This is just practice and exposure. You got to expose yourself a lot of times. So you don't have to remember. This is not about memorization. It's just practice and having fun. That's what I do in my classes. Uh, reading books on Kindle. Oh, any kind of books, uh, Junior. Reading books on Kindle, reading magazines, reading uh, websites. Anything that you want to read is fantastic. It's it's amazingly helpful. All right. Beer to wine. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your time. So much, Joe. Precious time. Thank you. Love from Iraq. 
Good, good like to see you, Alex. Joe, thanks. Keep going like this. Really great to hear native speakers' pronunciation. Thank you. A short live. Yeah, this is a long one. It's just Saturday, Sunday. I've got more free time. Okay? That's why this one's so long. All right? Podcast on Spotify is good as well. Th that would be another thing that I'd have to look into, Eduardo. I have no idea about podcasts. So that that's something for the future. I had fun today. Thank you for giving us your time. I really appreciate it. Elise, I really appreciate you too. Yes, I really appreciate everybody who came. I loved it. Had a great time. So tomorrow, if if I can do it tomorrow, I will. But it'll be a shorter one. All right. Okay, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm going to click the button now. Bye-bye.